In this video, I will show you how to create this simple dashboard using Bootstrap. Then in the next video, I will show you how to set up and configure two dashboard templates. So this is the first dashboard template. And this is the second one. You can find the video link in the description. Now let's create an HTML file. Let's call it index.html. Then we will use Bootstrap. So let's go to the documentation website of Bootstrap. Let's go to the first link, then docs. And let's copy this source code that includes Bootstrap, CSS and JavaScript from the CDN. Then we will use Bootstrap icons. So here let's click on icons. Let's scroll down. And let's copy the link element. Then let's paste it in the head. Then let's delete the H1 element. And let's create a Bootstrap container. Then inside this container, let's create a row with two columns. So this is one row that contains two columns. This is the first column and this is the second one. So in this column, we can see that we will use the dark background color. Then in the first column, let's add a navbar. So let's go back to the documentation website of Bootstrap. Then under components, let's click on navbar. Then we can click on color schemes. And we can use the source code of this navbar that has the dark color. But here we can see that the navbar is empty, so let's scroll down. And let's copy the source code of this navbar. And let's paste it here. Then let's use the bootstrap classes of the dark navbar. So let's copy the class attribute and this attribute. Then let's delete the class attribute from the nav element. Then for the border bottom, we can use the white color. So let's delete body and let's write white. Then let's add another nav bar in the second column. So let's copy this source code. And let's paste it here. So in the second navbar, we don't need the name of the application. So let's delete this A element. And let's replace it with this list that contains one item. So in this item, we have the logout item. And here we have this bootstrap icon. Then let's replace this container with a container fluid. Let's do the same thing here. So in the first column of the row, we need to add a nav menu. So just after the nav bar, we need to add the nav menu. And we can copy the source code from the documentation website of Bootstrap. So here let's click on navs and tabs. And let's copy this code that allows us to obtain this nav menu. Let's paste it here. Let's delete the active class and let's delete this attribute. We can also remove this disabled item and let's add two additional items. Let's save the file and let's open it using the browser. And we obtain this page so we can see that we have two columns. This is the first column and this is the second one. So in the first column, we have this navbar, which is a dark navbar, and we have this nav menu. And here we have only the navbar. So now let's change the color of these items. We will use the white color. And also we need to provide this column with the full height of the page. Then we need to remove this space from the second column. So first, let's change the color of these items. So just here we can add text white. Let's copy this class. 
and let's use it with the other items. Then let's provide the first column with the full height of the page, so we can add a CSS style to this row. So we can set the height property to 100 VH. Then let's remove the space from the second column. So just here we can add bootstrap classes. So let's set the padding to zero and the margin to zero. Then in the second column after the nav bar, let's add some text. So we can add this div. It has left and right paddings. And here we can see that we have four paragraphs. Let's save the file and let's refresh the page. So here we can see that the column has the full height of the page and we don't have the space here anymore. Now let's add some space between the nav bar and the content of the column. So this is the first nav bar and the class attribute let's add a bottom margin. And let's do the same thing with the second nav bar. Then let's change the title of the navbar. So here we can write best store for example, and we can add this bootstrap icon. Then let's do the same thing with the different items. So in the first item we can add this bootstrap icon, and we can display the text dashboard admin1 for example. Then let's update the text of the other items. So in the different items we can see that we are using these two bootstrap classes. So this class allows us to hide the text that we have here on small devices. And this class allows us to display the text on large devices. Let's save the file and let's refresh the page. And we obtain this nav menu. Now let's change the width of the page and let's see the appearance of this nav menu. So here we can see that on small devices the text will be split on different lines. So to fix this we can add a CSS style. So let's go to the A element. And let's add this style, so we will set the white space property to no wrap. This means that the icon and the text will be displayed on the same line. Let's do the same thing with the other items. Let's save the file. And let's refresh the page. So here we can see that the text of this item will be displayed on the same line. And here we can see that on small screens the text will disappear. Now let's add more content in the second column. So this is the second column and inside this div let's add more data. So we can add this title and this table. Let's save the file. And let's refresh the page. So here we can see that when we scroll, the items of the nav menu are not visible. We can change this using a bootstrap class. So let's put this nav bar and this nav menu into a div. So let's cut all of this code. And let's create a new div. So we can create this div that uses the sticky top bootstrap class. Then let's paste the code inside this div. Let's save the file. And let's refresh the page. Now let's scroll. And you can see that the items of the nav menu are always visible. 